Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm going to demonstrate how you can read and write data to a control logic using Microsoft Excel spreadsheet via the RS Links gateway. Let me show you what I have right now. So I have, I'm connected to a PLC here. You can see it's showing its current run status and I'm online with the PLC and we'll be writing to this controller tags uh, via the RS Links gateway. So I'll put the RS Links gateway on the right here. Okay, so first of all, uh, just to clear things up here, so you need an RS Links classic gateway at minimum. The version I'm working on today is version 4.10. Uh, any version will work, but it has to be RS Links classic gateway. RS Links classic alone will not work. So that's a good start. So once that's done, okay, the first thing and the first and foremost things that you have to do is to set up a topic. Right, you know, to do a topic, you need to set up on the RS Links Classic Gateway. So go to OPC and go op topic creation, uh, topic configuration. I'm sorry. And once you get in there, let's create a new topic. Let's call it X Y N E T uh, test. Right. And say yes. You create a new one. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna point it to the PLC in question. The PLC I'm working on today will be this one here and hit apply, say yes. So another thing you want to want to do is to go to get a collection here and define the processor that uh, you're using. I'm using uh, control logics, so it's logics 5000. And you can also change the poll rate if you like. I'm polling at one second. That's the default poll rate. So once that's done, click done here. Right. Okay, the next thing you want to do is to do a quick test uh, to see whether your topic works or not. The way to do it would be go view, edit, copy DDE links, and then in here, you expand this guy here and expand your topic that you just created, which is sign at test. And since you are online with the controller, you go online and you can see all the tags. If you don't see any tags here or if it's taking too long, uh, it is a good indication that uh, your connection is not working to the PLC. So uh, let's, uh, let's, what, what we're gonna do is we're gonna edit the wall clock, wall clock here, or rather read the wall clock value, I guess. So um, if I go here to the PLC program, wall clock, and expand this guy here. You can see the very first index of the wall clock is your year, right? Followed by uh, month, day, and, and so on, right? So just for the benefit of testing it, we'll pull the wall clock index zero, which is this guy here. So go ahead and select, and you click OK. When you click OK, what it does is that it copies in the clipboard. Alternatively, you can do this and you can copy if you like, but uh, you can just select this and click OK. It'll copy on the clipboard if you do that. Uh, just as a demonstration, let me show you. If I open any notepad and I press paste, you can see the topic is being copied, right? So just by doing that, you'll copy in the clipboard. So the next thing we want to do would be to open Excel spreadsheet. The Excel spreadsheet need not be uh, macro uh, if you are reading the values right so this is not a macro you see how I open up just a blank excel spreadsheet not a macro just a regular spreadsheet and if you go in here if you right click any cell and you do paste special paste has to be special paste let me do this again right click special paste and then you're going to click paste link lift as is as unitex and click ok and after a few moments, you can see it's showing 1998. And this is this is the macro behind it, right? You can manually go type it in, right click, copy. And let's say if you want to read uh, the index number one, go in here. Just change the index number one, and there you have it, right? And so on. So again, let's demonstration purpose let's do index number two there you go and three okay that's how you read uh, some of this variable right 
So let's say for example, if you want to read the local variables, which are your uh, raw tags, right? Say let's say I'm go read local slot two, and you go data, and we're gonna manipulate slot two, say channel zero, right? Uh, so you go if you don't know the uh, let me scroll this way here. If you don't know the uh, macro, the way you work with it is you go here. And you go view again, sorry, edit, copy the uh, DDE, expand your uh, RSLINKS OPC server, open your topics, go online, and look for local. You're going to be looking for local, slot 2 is an input, right? And then uh, you'll be going after a data. But data, you can see, is reading the whole value here. Let me, let me show you what I mean by that. If you click OK, or copy the whole string. And then if you right click here, go special paste again, paste links, click OK. You can see it's a large value, but you only want say uh, uh, channel 1, right? What you do is you go in here and push, put uh, period or dot 1 and it give you 0, the value of 0. Uh, just to prove that it's working, let's copy this. And paste it and let's read say channel 5 right on this one here so go channel 5 you should be reading 1 which is this value here and read channel 6 should be reading 1 as well and channel 7 right here is 0 channel 7 is reading 0 so that's how you do how you read the value from RS links. Now, how do you write the value? Writing a value back to, uh, via the RS links gateway is a bit involved, right? So that requires a bit of coding because you need to do a DDE poke. Let me demonstrate to you. So this book here um, is right now. If you save as, you can see it's just a regular. It's not even. It's just a regular Excel as. For, for, uh, books right so uh, you're gonna have to save it as a, a macro it's XML macro enable I don't want template macro enable workbook and I'm just gonna call it go to desktop I'm just gonna call it uh, uh, DDE test YouTube just give it a name right so you save it now your book, now this book is not a macro. So uh, so in order to write, there's a couple of things you have to do, right? Let's say, for example, uh, if you want to go to, say, block number 10, or say, for a matter of fact, A, and you want to write the value to this particular tag here. Let's copy this. Right. This is just a text. There's nothing fancy in here. It's just a regular text. Or uh, maybe you can change it to block 2 channel uh, say channel 1 so okay this is the target that we're gonna write to right and then now we're gonna have to create uh, we're gonna read the value from here so I'm just gonna put a 1 here for now and then you're gonna put a button to trigger uh, the right command or the right script you go to developers and then you go um, insert but before you do that if you don't have this developer like for example if you don't have this developer the way you enable this uh, would be to go to file and go to option and go to custom ribbon and make sure your check is in here so if I have to remove this guy here you see how the developer is not there so if you go file option then you go customize ribbon and if you go all the way down here you should see a developer here put a check here click OK and the developer comes in so once you get the developer we're gonna put a button in there which actually is gonna trigger the right to write this one value into in here right so uh, once you get to developer go insert and this this is your button right click on it and just create a button here right and just give it a macro name of button one click and you click new so when you click new you come to this screen here for some reason if you accidentally close this the way to go back would be you know it doesn't really work right so you go to design mode double click it doesn't go there too right Let's see, it doesn't go there. So the way to do it is press alternate F11 will bring you back to your uh, VBA editor.
and you go to module this is where your button is right? and this is what it triggers so um, to do a quick test hello just in case if you don't know how this works right so make sure design mode is off and click this guy here you see how this pops up so actually it's processing this blocks here right okay so um, in order to do like I said you have to do a poke and all that stuff in here okay. so create an indent here I'm gonna name a DDE channel and I open up a DDE channel and it's gonna be associated with application dot DDE uh, initi uh, initiate right and then in this initiation here uh, you're going to have to define the app that's uh, that's going to do the DDE connection here. Uh, it's going to be colon equal rs links. That's your app, right? Uh, let me slide this a bit further. rs links. And the topic of the rs links that you're going to connect to, right? So mine was, uh, let's go back in here and go DDE here. If you forgot your topic name, like me, if you go in here. Uh, this is your Skynet test, right? So you go back to your macro here. Skynet test. That's how you define a DDE channel. The next thing you're going to do is to define the item or the tags. So let's call it DDE item. So you can call it, or you can call it a tag if you like. And in here, uh, you're going to write to this tag, right? So you copy the tag for this and put it in here. That is your item. Now, where do you get the value, right? So to get the value, set, say, um, value, uh, to poke. Poke is another term in a DDE world to write, right? That's what it is. Equal, then you say worksheet, worksheets, right? Uh, so the worksheet uh, is gonna be called, uh, let me pull up the Excel spreadsheet, it's sheet one actually. This is the sheet one. Let's slide it a bit here. We're gonna call it sheet one. And the range. The range is uh, the definition of the of the location of the cell where it is, right? So the cell is located in B column B, uh, row eight. So the way you write it here is column B, row eight. Close it with double double uh, quote and you close with parenthesis. So now you have opened up a channel and you define what is your DDE item or tag name is. Let's call it a tag. Right? Or name, or whichever we like, or ABC. So after that, what you're gonna do, have, you're gonna have to poke the value, this value, into this tag here through this channel. So you marry them together using application.dde which is to write to a tag and you write via a channel the first argument is a channel second argument is the item which is a tag and the third argument is the data what you're gonna write right so this is your channel DDE channel this is your tag which is this value here and this is the value that you're gonna write so once that's done Gonna have to close or do a garbage cleaning. DDE terminate, which closes the DDE connection. And you, of course, gonna have to tell what you're gonna terminate. You're gonna close this channel. This is a good practice to do. Do not leave this open. Uh, it might work first time, second time, but over many, many multiple times, you know, there'll be multiple channels open, and then you will not be able to close this, right? Uh, and you will have to kill the Microsoft Excel and, and all that. This is a very bad practice not to include this. So please include this. So once that's done, okay, uh, we'll give it a go here. There's nothing much you have to do. Make sure design mode is off. And I'm gonna click this. This zero will turn into one. There you go, you can see it. I put it to zero here. Hit enter. You see how this one will become zero? There you go. One. The same technique can be used also for real or integer, right? So uh, this is the program. 
or the VBA code that you need. I'll leave this VBA code on the uh, description below uh, so that you have them. And yeah, this one here, I don't really need to put it in because this one comes straight from the, uh, from the gateway if you, if you don't know what they are coming from. But anyway, that's how you do a read. These are reads and write to the control logics via the, sorry, uh, from the Microsoft Excel using DDE and uh, RS Links Classic Gateway. If you like this video, please subscribe and give me a like. Other than that, you have a good day. Bye now.